Hello Pisces, welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at the current energies for you in love and we're also going to look a little bit closer at the person that you are dealing with or could be dealing with in the future. As always, these readings are meant to be general. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump right in for Pisces. By the way, thank you so much for checking out my channel, Pisces. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're a subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing. Let's see what we have for you for Pisces. For Pisces, for Pisces, what do we need to know? One more. Current energies for Pisces in current energies. Current energies for Pisces. Nine of Swords, Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Okay. Um, well, we're starting with the Nine of Swords, which is a card about anxiety, fear, stress, overall energy, bottom of the deck, the ace of pentacles. Why the stress? Ace of pentacles, ace of wands, something new coming in for you. Page of swords after that. So, hmm. I'm getting this energy of this isn't unexpected, but I don't, we'll see what we get. It's like you knew this was coming. Knight of Swords. This is like a quick message, some sort of communication that happens very fast. The truth could be a bit blunt. Tell me more about the energies for Pisces. What do we need to know for Pisces? What do we need to know? Strong bonds. Strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. Family, union, partnership. Hmm. Tell me more for Pisces. What do we need to know? Energy. Reach out. Take the initiative to reach out. So yeah, somebody could be um, sending you a message with this Knight of Swords, reaching out to talk to you, tell you something important, Pisces. I don't know. I keep what's at the bottom. Okay. The bottom of the deck has wedding bells. Wedding bells are ringing. So this could be, you know, someone wanting to commit to you. This could be somebody that wants to talk to you about maybe the future. So let's get to clarifying because I feel like something obviously is coming in for you and I think it looks good. So I, you know, but this nine of swords is kind of telling me that someone's worried about this. Maybe this is the person that's bringing the offer. Maybe they're worried about the response. Um, maybe someone's worried about the beginning of something. So we'll see. Let me get some clarity for Pisces. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, look at this. Nine of Wands, first card out. King of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and then Knight of Swords again. I'm going to put these back because I feel like this was a bad shuffle, but I wanted to look at them because the Nine of Wands coming out first. Again, there's like a resistance or some sort of like wariness that someone has about what looks to be good. King of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. So tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Four Pisces. I want this one. Six of Swords. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Eight of Swords. Yeah. And then the Six of Pentacles. Again, the fear. The fear. You know? But there's Justice at the bottom of the deck. Libra energy. Six of Pentacles is here. So I'm getting like balanced energy. Someone giving you something, trying to balance something out. Now, the Six of Swords is interesting. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? The Lovers. Gemini energy. King of Cups shows up again with the Nine of Wands. This could be somebody that... Um, 
for some reason, okay, it could be that the person bringing you the offer is bringing you an offer because maybe you thought about leaving this connection or they left this connection in the past. There's something here about a departure and I'm trying to figure out why. I mean, it's it, the King of Cups is here. So this is like an emotional offer. This is someone very um, empathetic, compassionate, considerate. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Um, so I feel like whoever, you know, is thinking about this, it's not like in a negative way. It's almost like they're thinking about this when they bring this offer. Maybe this already happened in the past. Maybe they're trying to prevent something from happening, right? Let's see. Can I get one more for the Six of Swords? And by the way, that's one, two, three. We have three sixes on the board right here. And sixes, um, they really are could be a number of um like harmony, stability. That's why we have like the pentacles and things like that. Working together, cooperation. Okay, we have the hermit, Virgo energy. Again, it's like someone's thinking about this. I feel like, okay, some of you, you're dealing with a person that is thinking about bringing you this offer because they want to prevent a departure of some sort. I, I still get that energy. It's like, let me stop Pisces before they decide to make this move or go somewhere new. Maybe you're moving or something like that. Yeah, there's the chariot, cancer energy. Um, it's almost like they're trying to prevent this from happening. Others of you, I feel like this person... Um, maybe moved away from you in the past and now they're coming in. They've always been thinking about the fact that they left in the past. I don't think that they want that to happen again, you know, lose you again, perhaps. Eight of Swords is telling me they're worried or anxious about this, fearful of making this move. And that's why the Nine of Swords is here. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Gemini. Ace of Wands. Yeah, someone's worried about this new beginning. Um, maybe... They're worried that this new beginning won't happen or maybe this is you evaluating this offer and being worried about the future. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Hangman. Yeah, there's hesitation. Someone's really thinking about this new beginning. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. Five of Wands. Someone's worried about conflict, drama, issues. Hmm. There's the world at the bottom of the deck. Um, wow. Followed by the Wheel of Fortune. Great energy there with the world and the Wheel of Fortune. Um, okay. So I feel like someone's worried about um, some sort of conflict. Maybe. Okay. So let's put a scenario out here because I feel like I need to like use an analogy I don't know why but okay let's say that you are dating someone and they decide that they want to propose to you or take this to the next level well in your mind this is a band-aid and you want to address serious issues that you have in your connection first before you move on to whatever other stage this person wants to move on to others of you this is someone making you an offer to begin a connection ace of pentacles ace of wands um, but you're worried about some sort of conflict that you are just thinking it's it's in the back of your mind and there's hesitation because uh, maybe it's too quick maybe it's just you know you don't have all the answers just yet you don't have the clarity you know etc etc um i think this is going to be a bit surprising with the knight of swords like it comes in quick tell me about the knight of swords why is the knight of swords here Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. The Tower. Yeah, it's going to be quick. It's going to be unexpected. Mm. I'm getting that it's not the best time for this. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. You know, and I think, honestly, I think, I don't think it's unexpected. I think this is just shocking, but you, you're thinking, I do I don't need this right now. It's like maybe you thought this was on its way to you. You could smell this happening, right? Like you, you're like, I, you know, I could just, I sense that this is going to come my way, but I can't deal with this right now. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. This could be some sort of reveal too. 
temperance, Sagittarius energy, and the Knight of Cups. So this could be somebody apologizing to you or revealing their feelings to you, Pisces. I feel like this is somebody that wants to fix a problem with temperance, Six of Pentacles. You know, let's balance this out. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. But the Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands that have shown up, it's like there's an existing issue here. Something that someone's been carrying, some weight. Yeah, there's the Five of Swords and the Two of Swords. So I think there's some sort of conflict. For some of you, it's a lack of, there's trust issues here. You don't trust this person. They don't trust you, whatever. Um, something must have happened to make you feel this way. This conflict could have been a conflict in the past. Let me see what I have here. Two of Wands and Strength, Leo Energy with Strength. So I feel like, yeah, someone's trying to decide what to do. Two of Swords, Two of Wands. They're undecided because of this conflict. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. So I get the sense that whoever's reaching out is reaching out with the intent of balancing something out. And for some reason, this is a bit shocking. Tell me about this tower. Some sort of message. Tell me about the tower. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. It's almost like they bring you something quickly. There's the Knight of Wands, an offer, a promise of some sort. But again, I get that energy on the other side of like, oh, I don't have time for this right now, or this isn't the best time to do this, or we need to fix this first. Let's not go there just yet. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. What do we need to know? Page of Swords. Talk. Let's talk about this. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Four of Cups. Yeah, someone's just not into this idea. They're not ready to throw themselves into this. They're not all in. Pisces, this could be you. This could be your person. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. I think it's you. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Magician. Yeah, like someone's like, let's do this. Let's go for it. Knight of Pentacles. This is someone with the Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. They're very motivated. Knight of Swords is here. All the Knights showed up. I think this is someone that's serious. Um, I don't think this is someone that's playing games. I just, I don't think that's the problem. Like their intentions are good. I don't think that that's the problem though. It's something else here. Let's get a Romance Angel. Spirit, tell me about this connection. For Pisces. Tell me about this connection. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this connection? What do we need to know between Pisces and this person? Oh, I got two. Love yourself first and heart to heart conversations. Yeah, I feel like you want to talk about things. You you need some sort of answer or reassurance. You want to resolve an issue first. This is what I'm getting. Let's look at your person's energy. Let's jump into what they're thinking, feeling about you. Tell me more about this person that Pisces is, has, or will be dealing with. I feel like you are going to have a heart to heart conversation though with the Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. You know, and I think it's something where the reach out card, I think it's, I think it's about your future. It's about commitment. I feel, um, I feel like, um, there is an existing problem that needs to be addressed before you jump into a commitment with this person. Tell me about this person's energy. Tell me about this person's energy, this person that Pisces. What do we need to know? about this other person. What do we need to know about this other person? Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. Four of Swords, Five of Cups. I want to keep going. Judgment and the Lovers, uh, Gemini energy again. Uh, the Fool at the bottom of the deck. I mean, this is pretty simple energy for when I look at it. I think this person is someone that wants to return or wants to fix something. Um, I think they're focused on let's start over, clean slate, clean, clear the air, 
no more baggage, no more um, holding back. Let's just go for it with the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Fool. They're thinking about new. I think this person's very nervous that they're not going to be able to have this with you. All they can think about is this. Um, I think that the Queen of Pentacles represents what, how they view you. Um, someone very stable, someone loyal, someone dependable, someone reliable. And I think the Five of Cups is them regretting something um, or missing you perhaps, or they're just sad at the state of things, at the state of your connection right now. Um, I'm starting to think the Six of Swords is you kind of dropping hints or having conversations with this person that maybe you're ready to move on. Um, and this person I think is freaking out a little bit about this um, because they're having like a realization or some sort of they're learning something about your connection with judgment and the uh, the lovers. Maybe, hey, Pisces is my soulmate. Um, Pisces is the one I'm meant to be with. I need to fix things with Pisces, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Let's get um, a secret moon for this person. Can we get some more energies for this person? Pisces is or what we're dealing with. I need to know. I need to know. You're always on my mind. Oh yeah. I mean, this person's thinking about you a lot. Bottom of the deck, I see you in my dreams. Yeah, this is from my Secret Moon Oracle deck and uh, I love this deck because... I don't know. I always connect with it. I, I know I designed it and everything, but <laughs> I always connect with this deck. Anyways, I see you in my dreams. You're always on my mind. Oh yeah. This person's thinking about you a lot. Constantly. You're in their head constantly. Um, something has happened. I'm speaking to a Pisces where you and this person have had some sort of rift or like a conflict or some sort of like, there's insecurity that I'm feeling around this connection because something happened. It's like maybe in, before this happened, you were sure about this connection. Now that this has happened, I feel there's doubts on both sides. They're probably worried that you're moving on, that you're not going to be okay with what happened. And you're worried that um, that you're making a mistake or that maybe, you know, you didn't, you, you trusted this person when you shouldn't. Something like that. I feel like you're both affected by what happened, but in different ways, you know. I think a conversation will take place. I think you will talk things out and have a heart to heart. And I think this heart to heart is going to help you um, make this choice. Because the two of swords is here. The two of wands showed up. I feel like you're deciding what to do about what happened, right? Are we going to be able to fix that problem and have a healthy relationship again or a good relationship again? Or is this what's going to make or break it? You know, like, is this going to be the one thing that completely like ruins this? Um, I think that that's the decision. Your person's obviously wanting things to go back to, I mean, I don't think they want to go back to the past, but they want to go back to when things were good and they want to have this, there's, they're really focused on the new, forget about the past or let's leave the past in the past. Let's move forward with the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands and the Fool. Let's have a new beginning and let's not stress out. <laughs> I feel like they're trying to convince you and themselves of that, you know? Thank you so much for watching, Pisces. If this resonated for you, leave a comment down below. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy how I read, if you enjoy the readings and you want to see more from me. I uh, appreciate anybody who takes the time to do that. It's a free way of supporting what I do here. And yeah, it just means so much. Um, thank you to everyone that has already done that. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.